Hi guys, Michelle here. So um, because I believe that something good can come out of something bad, I'm going to share some bad experience I had and hopefully something good will come out of this. So uh, over the last few years, we were dealing with Abigail's ears. She had really poor hearing and we weren't sure what it was. Every time we went to the doctor, she would just say, you know, put a couple of drops of olive oil in her ear and um, cotton balls and it'll break it up and it'll fall out naturally on its own and uh, we did try that obviously and uh, over the years it's, it, nothing happened nothing fell out and so over two and a half years she finally got us appointment with a specialist and I felt really good um, he looked at her ears and said automatically there was nothing that we could have done that it needs to be vacuumed and out and he's gonna he's gonna do his thing so we made an appointment with that he had to put her under it was not a very nice experience but it had to be done um and that's how i put it in my mind that it was for long you know short-term pain for long-term gain for abigail so after that he we had another follow-up appointment and said that she needed tubes um again not our first choice, but we're believing in our doctor and the medical system and a specialist and we put the tubes in. Um, it, again, another bad experience for Abigail. It was painful. She's kind of a little bit traumatized from it. Doesn't like to go into doctors. Um, but anyways, we had to do it and we believed it was for her hearing and her hearing did improve. So it was kind of, we put it to a really good place. Um, in doing so, the ears problem, the hearing was, he found out was eczema in her ear. And she has eczema all over her, her body as well. So we were looking into researching, what do you do for eczema? And our lovely neighbor um, told us, you know, try to, removing dairy. So we did. And, uh, and it helped. It helped really, really well. And um, her skin is cleared up. And it's been awesome. So um, moving forward a couple more months, um, Abigail's ear started bleeding so we got a little bit freaked out because you know blood's not supposed to come out of your ear and we took her to the hospital and they just looked in it like really quickly and just gave it antibiotic here's a prescription you know go kind of thing and we were feeling discouraged and I called to make an, a specialist appointment with the ear specialist and um Basically, they did the same thing to us. They didn't even give us an appointment. They just wrote out a prescription and sent it to the pharmacy for us, and that was it. And and I was really, really discouraged. So I vented to my neighbor and said, you know, I don't know what to do and stuff. And she recommended this um, YouTube video doing lymph massages for her ear and using some essential oils while I massage. So we started doing that, and Abigail and I were learning together in YouTube, and it was really a beautiful experience. Um, there was no more blood coming out, no more leakage, um, no more pain even, so it was great. So um, today, we had a follow-up appointment with the specialist, and um, in conversation, I mentioned that we removed Abigail from um, dairy for her eczema of the skin and I just want to know if that's helping with the eczema in her ear if he could look out for that and, and let us know and he's like oh well who told you about you know dare removing dairy and I said oh my my neighbor told us and he's like oh yeah well I usually tell every parent that because 97% um, or 87% of kids that get removed from dairy don't need tubes put in their ears I almost lost it like I it took everything like I'm my blood is still boiling I'm so upset um, all I would have had to do or could have tried before was removing dairy how is that not how how did a doctor not tell me that how was that not something he told me in the first appointment before even making the tubes appointment like how is this not common knowledge for everyone so I'm a little frustrated um, angry um, and upset so I'm hoping that I share this and, and I don't know if it gets to somebody who's going through something similar and, and maybe I'll help somebody or maybe you're, you're dealing with something else for your children but you're feeling that you need to be polite to these doctors and, and, um, and you have to listen to them and stuff like that. No, 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 no. You're advocating for your children. You be loud. You make the noisy. Like what's that saying? Like the squeaky something gets the whatever. Like be noisy speak up for your children and um and do a little research uh, go s see a naturopath like um i believe in doctors and all that stuff and i'm not saying you know hate on the doctors or anything like that or specialists but there are natural remedies out there and it's no not harmful to try those first so that's what i'm hoping comes from this video that 
parents, um, when dealing with their children who can't really speak for themselves, that parents speak for their children and who cares if you're polite or who cares if they don't like you or who care, who cares about anything, you know, speak up for your children. If you want an appointment with a specialist, then you get your appointment with a specialist. Don't wait over two years. Um, and you know, try something natural first. It, it, there's, you can Google natural pass, um, you know, neighbors, it could be anything. So if anybody has any issues that they are fighting with or, or need help with, please message me and I, I would love to help. That's what I believe. Um, my neighbor, who is also a wellness advocate, is we care. We take time. We'll research with you. We will listen to you. Nobody listened to me. The parent, the, the doctor for two and a half years didn't listen to me. Um, and I think it's really important. So if anybody has anything that they're dealing with or, or just want to vent, please message me and I will phone you and we will talk because being a parent is hard and um, advocating for your children is hard. And, um, and for some people, it's not, they're not loud. And some people that comes naturally, but to some they're not. So, and they're more polite and thinking they're doing the best. But um, yeah, I'm going to be loud. I'm going to be heard when I'm dealing with my children. And I'm going to do my research and look into natural remedies first. So I wanted to share this with you. And um, yeah, my blood's still boiling. I'm, I'm still sh shaking. And to know that all of that didn't have to happen for Abigail. She didn't have to go through those experiences. It breaks my heart. So if I can help in any way, please, please let me know. And um, I hope something good comes out of this video and something good comes from our experience for someone else to learn from it. Okay. So, um, I'm not saying doctors suck or specialists suck or, or anything like that. There's, there's a, a need for them, but I'm um, just do a little bit of research first. Okay. And, uh, take care. Thanks.